Pada 2011, Najib mengakui bahawa kerajaan membayar 94 juta ringgit kepada FBC Media antara 2007 hingga 2010. FBC turut membayar 70 ribu dolar Amerika kepada Epco Worldwide untuk melobi kerajaan Amerika Syarikat mewakili pentadbiran Najib. Apabila skandal pembayaran dan pengaturan berita ataupun news fixing ini didedahkan, BBC dan CNBC menamatkan kontrak FBC kerana melanggar etika kewartawanan. Dan ini basic sebab it's like uh, saya bayar mana-mana wartawan untuk menulis berita yang menguji saya atau menyerang lawan saya. So, it's no longer news. Ironisnya, Ketika AMNO Barisan Nasional terus menerus menyerang Anwar sebagai pro Israel di dalam propaganda dalam negara, Trevino dan konsultan-konsultan lain bekerja keras untuk menggambarkan Anwar sebagai anti Israel di luar negara. Najib perlu menjawab persoalan-persoalan berikut yang timbul daripada skandal ini. Berapa banyakkah wang rakyat yang dibayar kerajaan kepada konsultan perhubungan awam khususnya luar negara? untuk menulis bahan-bahan anti pakatan rakyat dan Anwar Ibrahim. Kedua, selain daripada EPCO di Amerika Syarikat dan FBC di UK, di manakah lagi DN melantik konsultan untuk menyerang pembangkang? C, siapakah yang terlibat di dalam pelantikan dan koordinasi konsultan-konsultan ini? D, Apakah arahan yang diberikan kepada konsultan-konsultan ini mengenai bahan-bahan berkaitan Anwar memandangkan kebanyakan kerja yang dibuat adalah menyerang Anwar semata-mata? E. Adakah kerajaan sedar bahawa ramai konsultan yang dilantik ya, uh, sama ada Trevino maupun uh, beberapa penulis di bawahnya seperti Domenech uh, dan lain-lain lagi ini dikenali sebagai uh, dikenali di atas pandangan ekstrim dan anti Islam mereka yang menghina Islam ikhwanul muslimin dan juga umat Islam di Amerika dan akhir sekali adakah kerajaan sedar bahawa konsultan-konsultan yang dilantik adalah penyokong tegar Israel yang menentang hak rakyat Palestin ya yeah, these are extreme right wing writers yang mereka lantik Najib mestilah menjawab perkara ini dengan pilihan raya yang bakal tiba Meskipun Najib terus membelanjakan jutaan ringgit wang rakyat bagi tujuan propaganda dan fitnah, beliau terus menolak kesaan Anwar untuk perbahasan polisi bagi kepentingan rakyat Malaysia. <coughs> Saya bacakan uh, kenyataan dalam bahasa Inggeris. Uh, the government's deafening silence on disclosure that it paid US public relations consultants to attack Anwar. Last week, former President George W. Bush's speechwriter Joshua Trevino submitted records to the U.S. government. These are the records that we have, the exact records that were submitted, establishing that he was paid by the Malaysian government through EPCO Worldwide in a campaign promoting Datuk Sri Najib Razak's administration while attacking Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim. Trevino's filings exposed that he received 389724 uh, dollars, US dollars and 70 cents from the Malaysian government, the ruling Amno Barisan National Party or closely related interests. This includes Echo Worldwide and FBC Media. In August last year, Trevino was forced to resign as a columnist from the UK newspaper The Guardian after he did not declare his role as a consultant to FBC Media for which he wrote a piece lauding Najib's moderate credentials. In 2011, Najib admitted that the government paid 94 million ringgit to FBC Media from 2007 to 2010. FBC has also paid 70,000 US dollars to EPCO Worldwide to lobby the US government on behalf of Najib's administration. When the news fixing scandal was exposed, BBC and CNBC terminated FBC's contract for breaching journalistic ethics. Ironically, while AMNO BN continues to paint Anwar as pro-Israel in his domestic propaganda, Trevino and the other consultants work hard to paint Anwar as anti-Israel abroad. Najib has to answer the following questions that arise from this scandal. How much taxpayers' money has his administration paid PR consultants, particularly overseas, to write anti-Pakatan Rakyat and Anwar Ibrahim pieces? The second one, other than EPCO in the US, 
and FBC in the UK, where else has the VN paid PR consult consultants to damage the opposition's image? Thirdly, who is involved in the hiring and coordinating with the PR consultants? Number four, what instructions are given with regards to how the consultants deal with Anwar Ibrahim as the bulk of the work being done by the consultants are solely about attacking Anwar? Number five, sorry, uh, yes. Number five, is the government aware that many of the consultants hired are known for their extreme right-wing and Islamophobic views who deride Islam, the Muslim Brotherhood, and American Muslims? Lastly, is the government aware that many of the consultants hired are staunch and avid supporters of Israel to the detriment of the Palestinians? With the elections around the corner, it is time Najib comes clean on the matter. It is significant that while Najib continues to spend millions of taxpayers' money for spin and propaganda, he continues to evade Anwar's call for a policy debate for the benefit of Malaysian voters.